Hey guys, and welcome to Dreamfall Chapters. Episode 2 has just come out, so we're going to go straight into playing that. We're going to go and we're carrying on straight from where we left off, and with this game, uh, as if um, you're new to watching my channel, or if you never heard of this game before, or if you haven't seen my previous playthrough of Episode 1, this game is like the Telltale Games. All your choices that you do throughout the game have benefits and consequences. If you um, save someone, someone else might want to kill you, that sort of thing. Um, and like, or it might, uh, it could, there are two worlds. You've got the magical world and the real world. The real world is um, where you play as this girl um, called Chloe. Um, and in the um, magical world, you play as this guy. Uh, who we'll see now in see in a minute. And um, I'm getting straight into this, and basically, each choice could affect the real world or the magical world. So let's just see what choices we're given and how the story is going to pan out from the choices I made in the first episode, first episode, or in the third episode, but in book one. Chapter 3, Trials I will be getting myself a new computer set up to be able to do this um, eventually when I've got the money to do it. So um, you'll see a, 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 this whole area that you can sort of see behind me um, won't be there. I, I'll, I'll be moving everything to a different room and I'll have a, so I've got more room to do all this. Interesting, isn't it? Because if you don't remember, or if you're not sure what's going on, um, we did a blood magic ritual uh, which opened a portal, but it, co it was the cost of the sacrifice of one of our friends, the captain. And because of his sacrifice, we were able to go through a blood magic portal which trans tra transported us somewhere. Where? Transported us somewhere, so. Let's have a look. You freed me, Kiana Varney. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. Don't know if that's the captain or if that's someone else. I don't know if the captain. When I do kill you, you will feel every twist of my blade. I've already been threatened. Well, that little monster barely awake. The son will serve as my vengeance, and I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms. I have a feeling that with everything that's going on, because Dreamfall is part of a three-game story. The, the dream, the Dreamfall, they had, um, they had how the first game was when they had Dreamfall. And then you have um, another moment of Dreamfall chapters. It was all part of the Dreamfall trilogy. And I'm not sure what the first game was, but um, with the first game played as a girl called um, I think it was Amy or something like that. Or, I'm, I think I'm probably completely wrong. We'll probably find out what this girl is called in this, in this chapter, in this story. And I have a feeling that choices that, that I couldn't make in those stories are going to be automatically affecting me in this story like a predetermined choice sort of thing if you haven't if I haven't played the first game so I'm fully healed physically but I need to be healed uh, mentally now. Wake up. And there's Kion Alvarez, the character that we play that we're playing as in the magical world. 
and I've sorted, seem to have sorted out the frame rate because if you remember from the first uh, playthrough I did of episode of um, book one, the it was it, the game had only just been released as early access, and so the frame rate was atrocious. And I do apologise for that. Uh, the um, I did everything I could to sort it all out as best as I could, but I couldn't solve it completely. But now that, uh, that they've done a lot of hot fixes, repairs, and a game, and they've gotten rid of a lot of game bugs, the um, the frame rate is a hell of a lot better. The running, it's not the best because it's, it's it, but it's running. It was running at between 10 to 15 frames per second. It's now running between 20 to 30 frames a second. So it's it's a hell of a lot better than it was. Hopefully it, you don't notice anything. Hopefully you don't notice the frame rate, um, any frame drop or anything like that. So. I don't want to keep talking. Let's go on. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? So he's the guy that was. Um, I won't answer their questions I until I know who they are and what they want with me. There's still pain, but I won't admit to weakness in front of these. I'm not going to admit to weakness because it might go against me. So what is this and I don't want that. Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back. Lico, you are in the enclave. The ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our, the Resistance Army. Those who have come to fight the Azadi. is the race of people that, that, that um, Kian is from. I remember. The portal. Blood magic. The shadow has cursed me. The goddess will not touch me. The captain. I murdered him. I'm gonna choose that show the captain because the portal. Blood he magic. saved Alvane, the but has cursed um, me. The, the captain. Balsai Bakis laid down his life for you. It's complicated, really, with why? his character. I don't really know why. But hopefully we'll find why? out. Why lose a great man like Bakim over you? A butcher, an apostle. Fucking Azadi. Azadi is his people, his race, he's the Azadi person. His name is Kian Alvani of the Azadi. not all the same, Dolmari. Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We are livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We are led into your list of crimes. I don't like don't her speaking, speaking to me, but to me I don't should us no. What did you say? You are I don't really know how to deal with someone like this. You have the blood of really countless magicals on your hands, and it will never wash off. What's to stop me from shedding your blood as well? No, I shouldn't I'd choose like that choice. Die, no one's trying anything. Liko, stand down. Kian. Please understand the sacrifices that were made in order to bring you here. I didn't ask for those sacrifices. And yet, they were made. Kian, we chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. Symbol. But also so much more. We need strength. We need leadership. We need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We so I'm going to be basically the poster boy of the rebels. Will you join us? Fair enough. Do I have a choice? Well, uh, and now I'm about choice. choice. So whatever the choice may be, I can I can do it or choose not to do it. Whatever I choose to do will affect the story dramatically. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new for the redemption I know you seek. 
join the rebels I can never be one or reject them. I'll I'll basically them. not join them, do what I like, sort of faith in a mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? Am I fighting my people? I might save my people. Let them lock me up, throw away the key. Let them kill me. I can never be one of them. Rejoin. Because if I reject them, that might be the end of his what story. And I will see what that does in, my, in a different save. And if I do do that, then I will let you know in the next episode what that choice did. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You're really friendly. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this. And begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. April Ryan, that was the girl from his very first game. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Kazi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. You're a very friendly person, Blue Boy. You're a very friendly person. I can tell we're going to get along very well. Right. Shepard. You're meant to be here, you're meant to be in Mass Effect. You should use the opportunity to speak with the others and familiarize yourself with the Enclave. A young Zid. There were some in Nazadia, but they were hunted like animals. What are you Young is it. Are you planning on turning this? Oh, uh, you're not Hi. Hunter. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enumar Sandia, daughter of Teamar, and... And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper Zid, but he's not around, so... Hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. Who's I can't not speak with these two. I want to improve oh, yeah. relations with great, these people. Hello. I want to get Azadi, make huh? friends with them. Yeah, so I'm great. Try sort things out from I've never been. the crap that I've given them. Nice? I hear it's nice when they're not, you know, waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I can understand that, yeah. Come, this is all she knows of Azadia. Maybe that's not so surprising. How would someone who's not from there know the truth? These people only see the actions of a conquering army, led by criminals. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'll it's do my that. Responsibility yeah. to ensure. Yeah, to... You think that's all we do? Oh no! Obviously, there's um, things I don't know. I just we don't get to socialize with Azadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shot a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um... She's very friendly. I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself <laughs> present to you. Present well, myself for you. I'm awesome. yours. Not appropriate, daughter of Teamar. Ugh. Sorry. I'm screwing this up, aren't I? Well, I'm very good. She's trying her best. She's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, despite how the Azadi... How we have treated her and her people. Yeah, She's crazy. willing to give me a chance. You're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Santya, Twilight Child, daughter of Teama. Oh, wow. The same, Kian Albane, apostle of the Azadi, son of. Um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, okay. This isn't Men in Black. Is oh, it? This yeah, isn't that, Men in Black. That's much, much better. Kian, welcome to the Resistance Kian. Anyway, this is it. Sorry about Liko. 
He has issues. So that's I'm the old man, like Okay, the blue boy. In private. Oh, okay, private. Got it. Won't pry. I'm trying to cut back on the prying. Continue talking. Oh, hello, hello, this guy. Try to sort out. See so, yeah. I wonder if by in the it's next like annoying. books or even it's further in this episode, I don't know like what this how long this episode's gonna be. Like not this part, in part one I'm doing. But I mean like for, for, for like in the later on in the episode next thing. If uh Mike can maybe like sort oh, things out this thing, you know. No one calls me daughter blah blah. You never know how old these people are, you see. You know, if she's fine, she's old enough, anyway. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm zidlings. Zidlings. But they are proud. I'm saying. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for yeah, she does. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than... I'm very sorry that, that most of this episode is just daughter, talking. Leader. There's not a lot going on. I really but um, it's more about building up a context, showing you how the game this looks, and how they have what... I was just because say hello and then it's blah, not the sort of game that you can and hey, get in and do loads of action. Well, it's a almost like a. You, but in a way, there it is. Uh, it's a book. Ah. So it is. It's done with a lot of a lot of um, context, a lot of um, dialogue. I'm sure the getting into it's a very story-driven. Yeah, this game is, and the, the game series is it's very story-driven. And by all means, go out get. Dreamful. It is a brilliant game to play. Graphics in the in them aren't like, oh my god, blow you away sort of thing. Because some of them are older. Well, so the apostle was sort of finally risen. Shame the people didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone. He hates me. But why wouldn't he? His people has caused mine suffering and death, and we have returned the favor twofold. We will always be enemies. Should I ignore it? No matter the circumstances. No. Watch your tongue, Dalmari. Or oh, what apostle. I shouldn't change that one. Family. Hope I can race. build bridges later on. I hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, because if I used to say if I don't try sorting things out with him, he's, he's gonna try something like he's trying to harm um, Kiana, or Kian, really. Um, yeah, it's not gonna go well. You are of the Azad Dalmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antiqua, the Western Dalmari, first of my people. Not before. Oh yeah, it's gonna be from the first game. I've not played the first I don't game. Think Where did we meet? You murdered my father in front of me. Yeah, eventually you passed me and so confused back I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical you made me who I am today and someday soon I will unmake you but I yes he is I um, my private a big ass badass um, I, 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 I like Blue Boy's character he's a very good action person and he's very very uh, I will kill you if you do something this against us, sort of thing, over. and that's really cool. We'll settle our it's a shame I, I just couldn't death, choose, like, prior events, like, suffering. I've never played the games before it, and I couldn't, like, sort out my decisions beforehand, and 
then kind of like sort it all out and have it all work for me or even against me but like I could have it's a shame I couldn't automatically choose my decisions sort of thing like if I've never played the game before like uh, with the Dragon Age Keep you can sort out your decisions and import that newly made save into Dragon Age Inquisition and have all your previous decisions affect the story sort of thing how do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is an Irhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It it makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. That's a very handy potion. It really is a very handy potion. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guard Don't to attract it. attention. Don't attract attention. Fair enough. And remember that those who know you intimately. So I've got to be like a ninja. I need to walk through the shadow. And but I need to go for you down and do it all correctly. In the but you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. Any you mistake dressed, will cost me my neck. some clothes on your bed. I trust Probably. You fit you well. Right, clothes are on the bed. Got the clothes. It looks really cool. I do like the outfit on this guy. On this. He looks he does look quite badass. Alright. Do you get seasick? What? I'm at the oh, pretty much the end of what I can record for the moment. I hope you've really enjoyed this in, in this, uh, this video. Sorry if it's not been what I normally do where it's like I'll tell you about but I try and I wanna try and have like this channel as being something everybody can watch, everybody can really like get into. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all again in the next episode, the next video that I upload. Thank you so much. Oh shot me right in the head! Ooh. The devil, why are you a therapist? What are you for? Yeah, I'm blocking the door, so he can't come in. Ah, so oh, he's hungry.